Hi guys, in this podcast, which will be short, I will show you how to get SPSS to put a regression line in a scatter plot. Remember the data set that we um, talked about in, in the lecture? There are eight people here and their respective heights and weights. To get the scatter plot, okay, where the data points represent each height and weight point, we go to graphs, legacy dialogs, and then go all the way down to scatter dot. Then you click simple and then define. Now make sure that you put the respective variables into their fields. The dependent variable goes into the y-axis and the dependent was weight because we wanted to explain weight by height. Click on weight, move it to y-axis, then click on height and move it into the x-axis which is the independent axis, right? Then you click OK. So this is the graph. This is the scatter plot. You see the height in the x axis and the weight in the y axis and the data points that re represent each weight and height. To get the line, as we saw in the lecture, okay, we can double click to activate the chart editor. So double click on the chart. The chart editor window opens up, you see the chart again. To put the line that best fits these data points or the least, uh, least square line or the regression line, you click on this button right here that is add fit line at total. As soon as you click that button, the regression line is already inserted and you can see it behind the properties table. So click on close to close that property and by the way you see this linear this is the linear line that we wanted. So the line is already inserted. Click to close chart editor and then you see that in the output window you have the scatter plot and you have the regression line that best fits these data. In addition to the regression line you have the R square linear value which is the coefficient of determination and as we saw it in our lecture this is 0 0.25 right the 0 0.25 represents 25 percent 25.1 percent and that means that the variation in our dependent variable weight is 25.1 percent explained by the variation in our independent variable height. So height explains 25.1 percent of the variation in weight. So this is it. You can then right click on the chart, copy and then paste it into your homework exercise.